An important quantity in hemodynamic analysis is the pressure gradient. And in this video, I'll show you how you can plot the pressure gradient in CFD post. So you first have to go under variables um, in the variables tab and right click on solution and say new. To create a new variable, I'll call it pgrad, the new variable, gradient of p. And then um, under method, I'll say gradient. And pressure is the default, and I'll say apply. So that adds that new variable under user defined. And now that variable is available in, um, you know, when, when you're doing your plots. So you create a contour object, and I already created one here. So let me turn it on. And if I go to the contour object, um, I can plot, you know, I can, so you won't have the pressure gradient if you didn't add it explicitly. And if I want to use my variable name, it'll show up here. And if it doesn't show up there, you need to go in here. Um, and then you, you will see the new variable that you created. So you can plot you know, the X, Y, Z component, or you can plot the total magnitude. So I plot the magnitude, and um, by default, the range, you know, it picks the range of values, so you'll see something like that. And so you get a high pressure gradient right over there, and compared to that, everything else looks nearly uniform. And so to bring out the variation here a little bit better, I can tweak the range of values. And I do that by changing the range over here to user specified. And I can give it, you know, I can pick a, a reasonable range. And I played around with it before I got this value. And I click apply. And that brings, you know, so that's plotting only ranges from 0 to, um, to 8,000 in, in SI units. And so you can see, you know, you have a high pressure gradient here. And in fact, this pressure gradient is positive, so it's pushing the flow along, and it nicely negotiates that turn. But then the pressure gradient turns negative, and um, the flow, you know, cannot negotiate that um, negative pressure gradient, and so flow it's, and it separates. And so you can see, and once it separates, you know, you get low pressure, low velocity, and you can see the effect of that over here. 